Hi, welcome to Tina Kay's Diaries. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. Today I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about what the blood actually does. You can think of the blood as being a vehicle and this vehicle carries millions of red blood cells. These red blood cells travel throughout the body and basically you can, um, in layman's terms, you can say that the blood is a vehicle and the little red blood cells, the red blood cells are found inside of the car. And this car travels throughout the body dropping off red blood cells that provides the body with oxygen and picking up um, gases um, that aren't good for you and carbon dioxide. So um, just think of it as the car moving out, moving throughout the body and basically it goes everywhere. It goes into your tissues, it goes into your bones, it goes um, into your organs and basically like I said is dropping off the oxygen that's found in the red blood cells and picking up the gases. And um, the little car is red, which is the color of the blood. So hopefully today you got a little bit of an understanding of why, what the red blood cells do. They drop off red blood cells to give us the oxygen that we need throughout the body so that we can live. If the car stops moving, then the body will begin to slowly die. So what happens is these red blood cells, they can hang around for about, nine, about 120 days and they're providing the body with what it needs. Whereas someone who lives with sickle cell disease, these red blood cells that are dropped off only last for about two weeks. So that's why it's so important to donate blood so that people like me who have sickle cell disease whose um, red blood cells only hang around for two weeks and remember in the previous video I told you that the um, sickle cells are hard and sticky and cause traffic jams. So if these um, sickle cells are causing traffic jams then the oxygen isn't getting to where it needs to go. So sickle sickle cell patients need blood all the time. Um, a lot of sickle cell patients get blood on a monthly basis. Basically given um, blood that's needed um, to do what the sickle cells are not doing. So um, I hope, my hope is that with these diaries you will begin to not only understand but I, I want to challenge you to go out and do something. Go out and donate blood. One unit of blood can save three lives. You never know who's going to need blood. It could be you. It could be somebody that you love. It could be a co-worker, a neighbor, or your own child. So give blood. When you're giving blood, you're giving life. Thank you for listening to me and watching me. And hopefully I'll see you next week. Watch out for my newsletters that come out every week. No, I'm sorry. Watch out for my newsletters that come out every month. See you next week. Bye-bye.